Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer. This is Reverend Omar Reyes. In case you're wondering why I'm, oh, excuse me, scoot up a little bit. I'm uh, sitting in my big easy chair. I'm having back spasms. So this is probably the best way to do it. We will just wait a moment to see who else will join us. I hope everyone's having a accept a, you know I say acceptable time but I'm I'm hoping everyone is safe and patient because given the virus and everything I think that um people are losing their sense of patience so I'm hoping that um people will regain that sense of patience and understand that people before us has made, have made sacrifices far greater than the ones we are being asked to make. So I know that's no comfort, but it is what it is, right? You can't, you can't force a cure. You can't force um things to happen so i hope that all of you are patient that all of you understand that no one's coming out to get you no one's trying to take away your rights what is happening and i hope people realize this um, um I hope everyone is patient, is what I meant to say. Um, I'm just setting up something real quick. Anyway. Let us begin our time in evening prayer. Seek him who made the Pleiades and Orion and turns deep darkness into the morning and darkens the day into night, who calls for the waters of the sea and pours them upon the surface of the earth. The Lord is his name. Amos 5, 8. <clears throat> Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your way to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make, stay, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O oh, Son of God, O oh, giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. 
Amen. And now our Psalm of the day, Psalm 118, located in page 760 of your Book of Common Prayer, if you happen to have one. Oh, and by the way, I, I apologize. Um, I wanted to tell you what page that we're on. Um, for evening prayers, page 117 in the Book of Common Prayer. Now we're on page 118. Just wanted to make sure you knew that. <clears throat> Oops, okay, sorry. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron proclaim his mercy endures forever. Oh, thank you, James. I saw you just joined. We are on Psalm 118. Um, page 760 in the Book of Common Prayer. Where was I? Yes. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim his mercy endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. The Lord answered by setting me free. The Lord is at my side, therefore I will not fear. What can anyone do to me? The Lord is at my side to help. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put trust in any flesh. All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They hem me in, they hem me in on every side. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees. They blaze like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. We are on verse 13 of Psalm 118, by the way. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted the right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Who is righteous, he who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you for you answered me and you have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. On this day, the Lord has acted and he will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now a lesson from the Gospels, Luke 24, 1 through 12. But on the first day of the week, at the early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking spices that they had prepared. They found a stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. Remember how he told you while he was in Galilee 
that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words and returning from the tomb, they told all of this to the 11 and to all the rest. And now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James and the other woman with them who told this to the apostles. This word seemed to them like an idle tale and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloth by themselves. He went home amazed at what happened. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And now the song of Simeon, Lord, you now have set your servant free. Go in peace as you promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for the world, all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now let us say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now let us say the Lord's Prayer together, the more modern version. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Close your ministers in righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, to all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving health among the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now the collect of the day. Almighty Father, who gave your only son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification. Give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever, amen. And in the world cycle of prayer, we pray for the people of North Korea. Also today in the cycle of prayer, in the Episcopal cycle of prayer, we are pay, praying for the Diocese of Western Newfoundland, where I am from actually. So let us hold um, the Bishop up there and those people up there in prayer, in, uh, in our prayers. <clears throat> And let us continue to pray for our needs and the needs of others. If anyone has any prayer requests, they can post them. Um, continue to pray for Mike, George, um, and Norma's 
um, well, brother and brother-in-law. He's still in the hospital. The last time I checked, he was. they were going to take him off the ventilator, um, which means he's improving. So let's continue to pray for that. <clears throat> And now the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and for all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with true thanks, thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only in our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom, to, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all the ages. Amen. And um, let us also say the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in your name, together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth in the age to come everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. <clears throat> well, that is the end of evening prayer. Now, um, I am all, I am going to join, the reason I'm hesitating, well, first of all, thank you for joining us. And um, I'm going to actually join another church's evening prayer. And I wanted to give you the information. Um, the brother's name is Adam Dawkins. And unfortunately, I don't have his parish's name. It's in Massachusetts. Well, actually, wait a minute. Maybe I do have it. Let's see. Evening prayer. No, well, that doesn't help, does it? Um. Anyway, the brother's the brother's a, a a friend of mine. He's a student at the seminary, and his church is in Massachusetts. They have evening prayer at four thirty. So whenever we're not having evening prayer, you can find me there, and I'll put a link. I'm going to try to put a link right now. Um, let me just write it. If you open Zoom, um, here, let me just write it like this. Hopefully this is right. Anyway, it's, it's, I, I'm, I, I'm doing this because it's always good to encourage other parishes to um, worship with them. So if you can join, that's great. If you can't, I understand. Um, let me do it right. But it was a wonderful pleasure to have you guys here. And this link is good no matter when you use it. They have evening prayer every, um, well, every day. We have evening prayer three times a week. So if you are not with us, go to them and support them. How about that? Um, anyway, if you have any problems with this link, just type in Zoom and just take these numbers right here and type them in. And you should be able to get to them. In fact, let me copy this right now. Let me put this on Facebook. Okay. 
Um, anyway, um, it's been a pleasure. Like I said, this link will lead you to um, a prayer meeting at 4.30. I should have wrote all that in. Anyway, I'll put it back. I'll put it on Facebook too. God bless you. Take care. And thank you, James, for joining and whoever else I can't see. And I will be back. Well, actually, we're going to have our morning prayer service for Sunday. So if you could tell everyone, 11 a.m., that's when we're going to start our morning uh, worship service. At 11 a.m., it's going to be morning prayer. Um, we're also going to have a prayer for those who want to take communion. It's called Spiritual Communion from St. Augustine's Prayer Book. So I hope you can join me. God bless you. This is Father Omar Reyes, Christ Church. Christ Episcopal Church, Albertville.